Contentious meeting in the Inland Empire as a school board votes in favor of supporting a gender reporting bill. Eyewitness News reporter Mark Robles live here in studio with reaction from parents and students. Mark. John Leslie, good morning. This is happening at Chino Valley Unified. A decision there could dramatically affect LGBTQ students and their parents. Last night's meeting was packed with people waiting to speak before the board. What this fight is about and what you're seeing such vitriol is people want to own our kids. Nobody owns our kids. Kids belong to their parents. The proposed state assembly bill would require schools to notify parents within 72 hours if their student starts identifying as transgender. Some say parents have the right to know. Others say it's a first step in dismantling LGBTQ rights and protections. You, the school board, will never understand the gravity of the danger this resolution places upon transgender students. You are supposed to protect students. You are supposed to support students. You are supposed to ensure equality for each student. However, proposing this resolution does the complete opposite. My daughter sprained her ankle so bad that she had to use a scooter to get around. I had to have a doctor's note for her to use that scooter. Are you kidding me? But yet... When my child may be confused or may not know, he's unsure, she's unsure what gender they are, all of a sudden, secrets to the parents. After about an hour of public comment, the board voted four to one in support of the bill. The bill uh, currently in committee at the state level. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.